So after that ferry ride, me and the dude uh, decided it was nap time because maybe he didn't sleep either. It is now uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. We laid down around 9.30, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Yeah, so we had a four hour nap. He's a little slow and still yawning. You go pee. But the wind has mostly died down. Blew away with most of the clouds. Check out these mountains. Amazing. Wow, what a difference like a little bit of a semi sunshine and clear skies will do to uh, the pictures and the surroundings. And... and then there's this guy. Who cares, Dad, about the mountains? Look what I found somebody's toilet paper. Goldberg, or Goldberg, see what I mean? <laughs> Dude, no, no. Good boy. Come on, let's go for a walk. Yeah, it was nice to uh, get things partially done, cleaned well, up, and then we're gonna hit the road. Don't ask me where, but we're gonna go. I guess we could just say, in search of icebergs. You know, if we stumble across some lobster along the way, hey, what'll be a bonus? So, yeah. What a glorious day to be alive. Oh, crap. <laughs> Yep, make sure everything's in its place, in the place for everything. I don't know if I shared this with you guys. This is Goldberg, my last puppy. And this is my mom. She's along for the ride too. Her ashes are in here. Yeah. And that's, um, um, the dude. <laughs> He's ready for drive. Okay, let's go. We finally got our poop in a group. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. And that's okay, because you know what? No more schedule. It's Brent's time. So much water, so much rivers, oh, and musking. <laughs> this that stuff. Anyways, forest and rivers. Well, this one here, just like I stopped, turned around, <laughs> and now I'm walking to show you. It's really hard to get when you're actually driving, but it's like what. And this has been like a dozen or more of these that I've seen. And I've only driven for 100 kilometers, maybe. Anyways, check this stuff out. That's the uh, Salmon Run Resort. Hey, how would you like that view in the morning?
the story of this guy. So this guy in Cape Breton, in Sydney, is telling me about that guy. He says he's from BC. And he jumped on his bike. And he's pulled his canoe from BC to here. He spent seven years on the road. I thought I was weird. <laughs> that is a cool story. Maybe we'll run into him later. I think I'm going to be spending the night here somewhere. Maybe in the church parking lot. Yeah. Anyways, quaint little town. We put on 200 kilometers. So I think we'll just hang out here for the night. See if I can find some Wi Fi. Usually, if I find a library, I'm usually good for that. So, yeah. We're hanging out in Quarterbrook, Newfoundland.